Hello friends, welcome again to my channel where we discuss the science behind this world of medicine. So today we are going to discuss about adenoids and enlarged adenoids which is a common problem in the age group of 1 to 7 years. So what exactly are adenoids? Adenoids are a group of tissue or a patches of tissue which are found behind the nasal cavity, behind the nose inside and the upper part of the throat in every individual, especially in children. These adenoid tissues or the patches of tissues are a part of lymphatic system of the body. With lymphatic system, we mean that system which fights against infection. So across the body, there are various tissues by different names which form the lymphatic system of the body and adenoids is one part of them found behind the nose and the upper part of the throat. However, these adenoids slowly and slowly reduce in size as the child ages and by the age group of 5 to 7 years, these adenoids become so small that they virtually have no function in the adults or after 7 years of age and they are known as vestigial organs means organs or tissues that are present in the body but have absolutely no role. But it has been found that few children within the age group of 1 to 5 years generally tend to have enlarged adenoids. So what exactly is the role of or what exactly is the reason why you have or why children have enlarged adenoids. So the first and foremost reason which is most common is idiopathic. With idiopathic I mean to say that the cause is not known. The medical science has not been virtually able to establish the reason why few children have enlarged adenoids or few children have enlarged adenoids since birth. So this is called as idiopathic. The next reason remains is infection. So if a child is having recurrent infection of the upper respiratory tract or the nose or the throat, so sometimes the adenoid tissue might, might inflate or become enlarged in size because it is part of the lymphatic system which is trying to fight out the infection. So during this fight, the enlarged adenoids are actually increased, having increased function and this increased function leads to better fighting capability of the adenoid tissue against the infection and hence a child may have enlarged adenoids. The second reason is allergies. So again allergies in a human body or in a children or in children causes high activity of the immune system wherein the immunoglobulins or the chemicals which fight against this allergies increase. There is increased response of the immune system, lymphatic system becomes active and hence again the adenoid tissues enlarge in size if a person or a child is having allergic reactions. So these are the reasons why enlarged adenoids may be found in children between the age group of 1 to 5 years. But now what exactly is the problem with having enlarged adenoids? So you can easily appreciate that the adenoids are found behind the nasal cavity, behind the nose and the upper part of the throat. So hence, if the adenoids increase in size, a child will have breathing difficulties because the passage from nose to the lungs, there is reduction in the size of the passage because of enlarged adenoids and hence a child will have breathing difficulties. Because of these breathing difficulties, there will be restless sleep a child will have noisy breath, noisy breathing sounds. A child may, will be found to have breathing from the mouth. So you will find children who have enlarged adenoids generally breathe from mouth more rather than from the nose. So all in all the child will be suffering from these breathing difficulties. The other part of the effect or the problems associated with enlarged adenoids is frequent infection runny nose because enlarged adenoids are blocking the nasal cavity. Again, if there is allergic reactions or infection, a child will have more runny nose. There will be chances of frequent infection. 
there are chances of developing sinusitis which is basically the sinus cavities within the uh, body in the uh, skull there are sinus cavities over here in the head in the maxilla region in the cheek region which may have infection so a child may have sinusitis and the other part is frequent ear infection why because your ear from the internal part of the ear there is a communication to the throat through a tube called as eustachian tube and any fluid that is generated in the ear is coming to the throat and to the stomach through this eustachian tube but enlarged adenoids tend to block this eustachian tube when this eustachian tube is blocked the fluid in the ear remains it is not drained out and if it is not drained out it will lead to frequent ear infection in children having enlarged adenoids so these are the problems associated with enlarged adenoids but now exactly how do you manage this or what are the treatment guidelines medical science has given us for enlarged adenoids so the primary treatment is treatment by antibiotics or medicines that fight the infection so these are the primary line of treatment for enlarged adenoids and has known to give effect and results in lot of children however if antibiotics are not effective a person or a child may have to undergo adenoidectomy which is removal of the adenoid tissue or the adenoid patches of tissue the reason why someone may have to go through this procedure of adenoid removal is if the person ha is having lot of health effects because or a child is having lot of health effects because of this enlarged adenoids the health effects may be related to difficulty in breathing recurrent infection recurrent ear infection or sinusitis in these cases a doctor may prescribe or may tell you to have a adenoidectomy which is removal of the adenoid tissue of your child but rest assured this adenoid removal is a very easy procedure and is completely safe the only thing is there are chances that your child's voice quality or voice may change there is no effect on a long term basis but yes the voice may change a little bit and that also is not in all the cases in a few cases so this is what is a treatment protocol for adenoids or the enlarged adenoids so friends i hope because this adenoids is a very common problem in children and by seeing this video you might have appreciated the importance of it and importance in terms of that it is not so complicated and you need not worry much about enlarged adenoid tissue in your child it is a common problem and is easily treatable curable so friends if you like my video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to watch my next video thank you